Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome to Cloud Mom. Welcome to month three with your baby. It's also month three with my little baby, Bracey. Up until now, I've filmed this series on a week by week basis. I'll now continue to give you guys week by week information when it comes to your baby's weight and their length. But for other baby milestones, tips on breastfeeding, tips on bottle feeding, on sleep schedules, baby care, and all the other things that I think you need to have top of mind, having gone through this five, well now six times, I'm going to start filming on a monthly basis. So with all that said, welcome to month three. Congratulations on having completed the fourth trimester, as many people call it. Let's take a look first at a full-term baby at month three, and then I'll give you some thoughts on premature babies and an update on my little preemie, Bracey. As I've mentioned in all the prior videos, during the first six months of life, most babies gain between five to seven ounces a week or 150 to 210 grams. Your doctor will be tracking your baby's height and weight on a growth curve over time, and he'll be using information provided by the World Health Organization, which is based on 19,000 babies in five developing countries who have grown up in what are considered to be optimal conditions. Both the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, and the American Academy of Pediatrics, the AAP, recommend that doctors follow these WHO growth charts. Using the growth charts, your doctor is going to be coming up with percentiles. So for example, they might tell you that your baby is taller than 75% of all babies, or that your baby weighs more than 75% of all babies. In addition to comparing your baby to other similarly aged babies using these growth charts, your doctor is gonna be looking back and plotting your baby's own individual growth curve since birth. Your baby might look to you to be too chubby or too thin, but you should really go to your doctor and see what they think in terms of this because in all likelihood, they're perfectly fine and on track. So with that said, let's take a quick look at what you can expect your baby to weigh and measure at the different weeks of month three. At 12 weeks old, your baby has gained approximately 3.75 to 5.25 pounds from birth, which equals 1.7 to 2.4 kilos, and they've grown about 1.5 to 3 inches, or approximately 3.8 to 7.6 centimeters. At 13 weeks old, your baby has gained approximately 4 to 5.6 pounds from birth, which equals 1.8 to 2.5 kilos, and they've grown around 1.6 to 3.25 inches, or approximately 4 to 8.2 centimeters. By 14 weeks old, your baby has gained approximately 4.4 to 6.1 pounds from birth, which equals 2 to 2.8 kilos, and they've grown about 1.8 to 3.5 inches, or approximately 4.6 to 8.9 centimeters. At 15 weeks old, your baby has likely gained approximately 4.7 to 6.5 pounds from birth, which equals 2.1 to 2.9 kilos, and they've grown about 1.9 to 3.75 inches, or approximately 4.8 to 9.5 centimeters. Some words about three-month-olds and developmental milestones. Many babies will laugh out loud at three months, and as you go near them to pick them up, they'll start to kick and smile with excitement. That's a thrill. You might find your baby sucking his or her thumb more consistently, and this is coming from increased coordination and awareness of their body. This is nothing to be concerned of, and in fact, you should be happy because this counts as self-soothing and is a good indicator that your baby is gonna find ways to put him or herself back to sleep when they wake up during the middle of the night or during naps. 
You might be finding during tummy time that your baby is able to hold his or her head up for longer stints of time and do something that looks like an almost upward dog type of position, which indicates a lot of increased neck and back strength. When you hold your baby on your lap, you might find that they can really sit up with a lot more strength with you only lending gentle support and that they can hold up their head. Your baby might be able to stand on their legs with your help, not for long, long periods of time, but for a couple seconds at a time, if not more. Also, many babies will roll over at this stage and will react, you know, looking around when they hear a sound. In terms of vision, your baby can recognize objects that are eight to 15 inches away. However, they still don't have depth perception. They can now follow objects that you wave in front of their face to a 180 degree angle. So try spinning your finger, you know, slowly across them in front of them, and also try to do this with a highly patterned toy. Your baby also can likely focus more easily and won't look cross-eyed to you anymore. For many weeks now, your baby's hearing has been quite advanced and they've been able to recognize sounds, including the sound of mommy and daddy's voice. A recent study indicated that across cultures, babies respond very well to baby talk or infant directed talk because they like the pauses on words, the intonations, and the rhythms of this type of talk. So although traditional wisdom has it that we should be speaking to our babies in adult voices, Go ahead with this baby talk as much as you feel comfortable doing because it is in fact good for your baby. Your baby's grasp is stronger and you'll find them holding onto certain objects including your hair if you have long hair. Continue to sing, talk, read aloud to your baby and just narrate all the different things you're doing. This is the best form of educational activity when it comes to a baby who is three months old. Also try to react to your baby. You obviously can't have a conversation yet, but you wanna react and show them sort of the back and forth, the exchange that happens with communication. And if you're really busy around the house, try to pull up a playlist with children's music because these beats and rhythms have also been shown to really stimulate brain and language development in babies. For month three, I recommend the same type of breastfeeding schedule that we've been on from the beginning. The idea to this schedule is that your baby is awake and consuming most of the food they need during the day. It's that you really keep track of when your baby's eating, not allowing your baby to go too long between feeds. When you continue to do this, you will find your baby dropping some of those nighttime feeds or going much longer stints at night. It has worked for me now for five babies. It's even starting to work for me now for little Bracy. So with all that said, let me quickly pop up the schedule again with the caveat that the last feed, that two to three a.m. feed might be taking place significantly later for many babies, which I hope it is doing for you. 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m., this is also called the top off feed, and two to three a.m. or when your baby wakes up. Again, there are babies at this stage that will go five, six, it's even been said seven hours, although I do find that very, very long. So if that's the case, you'll be doing a much earlier morning feed and you can just adjust the schedule accordingly. Try to pump after every feed for just five to 10 minutes to stimulate your milk production. If you can't do it after every feed, try to do it after the early morning feed and your second feed, because at those feeds you likely will have a lot of milk. And try to also do it in the late afternoon because at this point you likely have less milk. So pumping is a really great way to stimulate your milk production. The calculation for the amount of formula you should be giving your baby also remains the same. You wanna take your baby's weight, you multiply this by two and by 2.5, and you divide it by the number of feedings, which likely is still six. Using this calculation, a 13 ounce baby will be eating about 4.3 to 5.4 ounces of formula per feeding. Of course, you will know your baby better than anyone, and you will have a sense of when your baby has burped and is rejecting more formula, and that is the point at which you can stop feeding them. Many babies will just shut their mouths tightly and you literally can't even get the bottle 
nipple in there. So how's that for communication skills? So anyway, that being said, let me pop this up very quickly because it's still the same schedule. Here is a formula feeding schedule for a three month old baby. 7 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., 7 p.m., 11 p.m., and 3 to 4 a.m., or when your baby wakes up, and I'm hoping that this 3 to 4 a.m. feeding has been pushed until early in the morning and that you guys are getting a nice long stint of sleep. When it comes to premature babies and developmental milestones, the basic rule is to take the age of your baby and to deduct the amount of weeks by which they were premature. So in Bracey's case, he's now 12 weeks old. However, he was born 10 weeks prematurely. So developmentally, he likely has the maturity of a two week old baby. This calculation is said to remain true for about two or more years. So talk to your doctor about that. And I do think it varies a lot baby by baby. That said, it strikes me that most babies are a bit of a hybrid when it comes to this, because I've noticed with Bracey that he seems more developed than my other babies did at two weeks old. He's alert a lot more now. He sleeps for longer stints at night. He's waking up after the sort of last 10 a.m. feed at about like two or three a.m., which is better than my other babies did at this stage. And at this point, when I hold him, I can feel him sort of pushing down with his legs. And we've even seen him pushing a little bit while on his tummy during tummy time, which are not things that my other babies were able to do at two weeks old. I think Bracey's like a bit of a hybrid at this point in terms of these developmental milestones. He's nowhere near where a 12 week old baby should be. So again, when it comes to your baby, take all this information about developmental milestones in stride and check with your doctor who will be the one to tell you whether there is cause for concern. You really wanna focus on the positive developments that your baby is making and shut out all the noise. Bracey had a terrific week. He weighed three kilos, 300 grams at his weekly doctor's appointment, much to the excitement of his mom. He enjoyed a lot of hugs, he enjoyed tummy time, and he enjoyed some time in his new baby swing. He received a beautiful white knit cap and sweater from a close friend, Mar. And all in all, he was just a very happy little guy. He does have one thing we're really struggling with right now, which is infant constipation. It got very, very bad. He went up to, I would say, a week without having a bowel movement. We talked to our doctor about this, and I mentioned it in last week's video, and we're now actually giving him glycerin suppositories quite regularly, which seems to be working, but it does seem to have been quite a struggle for him and I do think it's from the iron supplements we're giving him which we have to give him so anyway that's what we're struggling with if you guys have any advice about this I would really appreciate it because it has been a bit of a challenge so with all that said thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it see you back soon on cloudmom.com for some how-to videos regarding baby's first year and in a few weeks I'll see you back for month four with your baby